All right, good morning, good day. Hope you guys are doing well and had a lovely weekend and got some good scalps in. Today, we'll be looking at uh, B BTC, bit shit, uh, from the 21 day all the way down to the one minute. And long story short, we are going to be giving out a new weekly target that has just opened up. All right, so when we get there, we'll cover that and we'll quantify said weekly target on the seven day Laplace distribution code. Now, long story short, on the 21 day, what we can see is Bitcoin in a positive drift. So small candles up with the return starting, the positive return starting to decay. Now with this signature, I can expect a hidden bull div, but unfortunately, it's only gonna get its hidden bull div if it closes the next 21 day in six days time above 68, nine, 84 all right 60 just call it 60 69 dollars if bitcoin can close above there there will be a long-term drive of positive drift meaning look for hidden bull divs on like very low time frames okay 14 days and the same thing it has been reverted the returns have been reverted thus slowing down this initial pump Okay, what can we see here on the seven day? Seven day Laplace distribution cone, pretty much in no man's land from here. But what I will say is on this side is $77,900 is uh, the first and hardest thing to tackle. All right, hasn't touched that for pretty much over a year now, maybe a bit more, two years, pretty much two years to the day and yeah that's your weekly range if you can start holding a well that's your long-term pumpo range if you start holding above here that's good let's go to the top left any closes below 66 900 i do look for continuation down now what stops bitcoin from getting to 100k is this pink line why our mean reversion is now pretty much a thousand a hundred thousand dollars or hundred and three thousand dollars all right that will be a next pit stop if it can break these two pink levels here the next pink level up is at eighty three thousand dollars i know guys are getting very very bullish i will get super bearish well not super bearish but i start to get like long-term bearish at around about seventy seven six hundred okay obviously running a little fat tail and monitoring that for that week, three weeks, to $83,000. What can we see here? Oh, let's just quickly quantify said level. We will put VREs on. We have an untouched VRE, pretty much right here at this mean. Okay, oh, this one's gonna be a little bit harder to see. So we'll just demarcate it on the right with a horizontal ray. I need to zoom in. So we've got one monthly here, we've got one weekly here, okay, and where these lines touch on the cones is where we want to make sure Bitcoin is closing above, okay. So make this big screen, big screen, what can we see? We can see by the 20th of May, if Bitcoin wants to stay bullish, it needs to hold above 67 six seven six all right we gave our triple six target if we said if it holds above triple six or double six triple six it will be bullish so that has played out and if you did take that trade good on you and yeah so that's a seven day let's get into that's pump mode on the five day so i just want to do a shuffle positive drift positive drift 50 is actually sneaky pump mode so we need to define this on the low term time frames five days pump mode this is trying to move into sneaky pump mode this is the 24 hour technically 50 50 wealth returns are rather extended it's actually not good news if you are uh, if you are looking for a serious push up to the upside as these technically to me are overextended under 50 50 then we have 50 50 on a 12 hour so let's see if we have any data up here that we can suggest nothing 
can't suggest anything. So we're going to have to play it on the VREs. This is again, 12 hours is 50-50. Hold up, is that two 12 hours in a row? There's, this should actually be the six hour. Six hours is a pretty good time frame. Is in pump mode and is trying to break outside of its trend here. So it's trying to go parabolic, which we will define on the 15 minute. And this is again 50-50. Returns are starting to mean revert on the 90 minute with positive drift. So I'm guessing a little bit of sideways action for today. And I'll demarcate those levels as we get to see this VRE play out. All right. Now, for that to happen. Okay, so this is currently caught in negative drift. Your pump continues above 72,356. Any closes below there, I do look for a mean reversion down to... Let me make this big. On the right, down to 68,396. This is a weekly target that's just opened up. And it's quite a big percentage move away considering we've had this rip up. So let's just pull that. It is a 5% move for Bitcoin. All right. Pretty big. Pretty big. Okay. Any closes below here, we do initially look for this target during the week. Let's move on to the 15 minute. 15 minute, we'll have to make this big, is now in positive drift. So it is gonna try and push and hold above $72,350. It's on perps, all right? If it does, if it does hold above here, it should be able to tick the 12 hour and 24 hour into like a, a bullish posturing. The only reason Bitcoin hasn't pumped through is because those time frames are suggesting uh, it's over overextended, you could say, or it's like all pumped out. So you need some serious consolidation in these levels in order to turn the 24 hour and the 12 hour around. Now, within our cone, we are at the we are sort of below a blue line here. So I would suggest that if Bitcoin starts breaking 70k, she is looking to hit 68,500. Um, and if it does do that, it's it's technically going to want to do the same thing to the other side of the cone within the same 15 minute here. Hope you like the trumpets. All right, let's just get this cone in, put this VRE on. So this VRE is above the cone. So if it does fail from this region, I, I'm expecting this cone, well, I'm expecting a candle to come in, hit 68K, lot of push down into 67 if we can hold above there well then hey all's your all is best for the bullish bear uh bullish bull <laughs> all right now this is sneaky pump mode so we should technically touch this thing up here at the top side uh into a zone of liquidity on the one minute you can look for hidden bull devs all right this is moving into 50 50 not so good did it escape its reverse wave 10d it sort of has look for a hidden bull div even though there is a bear div here if you are above 72.204 okay it's going to need a lot of work what's that 90 minute now it's postured into positive drift so i am looking for it to try and hold above 72.233 i'll give it maybe 12 hours worth of play i technically would be looking for a short up here to take my profits um pretty simple to be honest then we're going to go throw on USDT dominance. And this new, what's that? That's all April's action. So April's mean is down here on USDT dominance. is down here at 4%, 4.08%. Now, as this starts to fall, you can imagine Bitcoin trying to rise. What are my expectations? If Bitcoin falls to this monthly mean, I do expect it to try and break through these levels here at 77. So it's quite a huge range, okay? Knowing that if it does reverse at that monthly mean, Bitcoin's gonna wanna charge for 67,000, all right? Let's go have a quick look at what direction is saying here. It's in a contraction of is in negative drift. Bitcoin's being a little tough to trade here. There is some bear div playing out here. 
So there might still be some more pumperoo to the upside, but uh, my general mark in the sand is here at 72.337. Any closes below there, I get bearish back down to daily mean. Any closes above here, let's see if we have a new target. If you start closing above here and break through 72,686, it's pretty much free range into the 73, 300, and 75,000. All right, this is the zone of liquidity that I was talking about. Fails here, you're more than likely find this pump is going to be over. Holds above said orange line, it's going to push here for a last dash to break out into the top side. If you found this information helpful, please do like and subscribe. African Crypto Warlord out. Oh, what's that? Is it there? There? And our mean is pretty much our reverse wave trend mean. VRE. This is a different reverse wave trend. But I zoom in here. Let's quantify some means on some means. Nothing better. All right. Freshly printed monthly. This reverse wave trend is above it. And yeah, should be all good in the hood. Quack, 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 quack. Much power, stay well. Wow.